Hi there, and welcome to Neophyte.tv, the technology show for the not-so-geeky. My name's Tiffany Young. And I'm Ben Friedman. And today is Neutral Color Day. Neutral Color. How did this it's happen? It's Pewter Day. It's Pewter today. Well, I'm Pewter. Is that Pewter? That's beautiful. Oh, you know, it does sound like How did this happen? We're like both wearing a uh, khaki neutral tone day because today. Because we talked about it in wardrobe before we came on the show. Right. Ha, ha, just kidding. Actually, we, we don't always know what each other's going to wear. Wow. Uh, sometimes it's just oh, a, I, we don't even, I don't often know what I'm going to wear. I just take the next thing on the rack. I don't I, either. I grab a handful and, and come on down. There you go. You know, my the wife price is right. Not, come my, on down. My wife does not dress me and, you know, maybe she should, but, but, uh, no, but you always look nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. The uh, camera, you know, I do a lot of retouching on the, on the thing. Uh, so, frame by frame. Yes, frame by frame. frame, by frame. I draw in this, this uh, yeah. <laughs> Today on the show, we're taking a look at uh, two new tablets from Wacom. Now, when I, you know, these are um, tablets for, they're kind of like a mouse on your computer, mm -hmm. but instead of mousing around, you use the pen. So let me show you. This is, uh, these are called Bamboo, is the name of this, and Wacom Blech. Is Wacom also a telecommunications company? No. It's no. Viacom. That's Vi well, that's right. Viacom is a, an entertainment company. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I don't Wacom. know. Wacom. Wacom. Okay. Wacom. Wacom is, uh, they, they have these tablets, and they've been quite pricey, but they're really trying to come down to the consumer end with these tablets. So, for instance, this one, which is the Wacom Bamboo Small, it's only about 70 bucks, which is a lot cheaper, and it plugs in by USB. It's not wireless. Oh, that's I cool. I just don't have the wire hooked up. Uh-huh. Uh, and it comes with this little pen and uh, thingy, and the pen, so you know, you can, instead of using your mouse. I like it. Here's what you do, you, you sit back on your couch, or whatever, or your computer's up there, and instead of, but you But you're know, still plugged in by a cord, though. Plugged in by a cord, okay. and you can just surf around like this, and if, you're if you, you can surf, you can uh, scroll, there's a little scrolly uh, button thingy to go up and down to scroll mm -hmm. here, and you can also, uh, you know, if you're editing photos or anything like that, you know, it's really a lot easier to go in there, and if you wanna outline something in your photo, to outline it with this. Well, but you can't like go www dot, right? No. So this doesn't. This is not handwriting. Blah, handwriting recognition. So it's not for writing. It's for drawing. Okay. So I couldn't. Okay. So if I, I so I would still need to use a keyboard then. If I. That's right. Okay. If you were surfing around that way, you'd still need to use a keyboard, unless you had an on-screen keyboard that you could use it. This is this is pretty much a mouse replacement, designed to be a more precise okay. version of the mouse. So you really probably want to have this next to your keyboard for both. Now, do they make do they make a product where you can do both? What yeah. do handwriting recognition? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean like, they have tablet computers. See, this would be pretty. Wouldn't this be? Pretty well, cool? the problem is, is, is it's much harder to write when you can't see what you're writing on. So you're writing on this. Well, have you ever signed on those credit card machines at the grocery uh, well, store? Well, exactly. So <laughs> tablet computers are different because a tablet PC, you can, as you write on the screen, you can see it coming up on the screen. Right. Whereas, you so see, you're writing on the thing that is. You know, you can see your trail. With this, you can't see what you're writing on. You have to be writing down there and looking up there. Do you understand the difference? I do understand the difference, but I still think it would, you know, I, I, I don't need to see to write. I mean, do you? Yeah, I'm, so I am a horrible handwriter. I have terrible handwriting. Uh, but that's all a software thing. So if you want to do handwriting recognition, you just get, you can get some handwriting recognition software and use this. Do you text, when you text, do you look at the, the text keys? Uh, let's just say, uh, you know, on a, on I think a, I do. I'm just not that good. Okay. I don't text that much. Do you know, I like two thumbs. You're like the awesome texter girl. Well, and that's a big reason why I don't switch back to it. Well, I, I tried a flip phone for a short amount of time, right. and then I went back to like the, the PDA style, even though... Is that what your new phone is, is the PDA with the keyboard? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, my texting slowed. I was like, oh my gosh, take me an hour to write what I want to write. So, anyway. Now, the nice thing about these tablets is they come in a couple of different sizes and a couple of different models. So, this is the sort of very professional office-y version. It's black. Do you know what this is? Yeah, that's like your right click, and, as opposed, and oh. you have like two different buttons. So you can do a right click and a, and a, and a center click. Very cool. It also has uh, an eraser on the edge. So if you turn around and do this side, it's like erasing. Really? Yeah, so if you're drawing something in Photoshop, you can use that side to erase. Wow. Very similar with this one here. Again, this is, you know, this is a different model, still part of the bamboo line. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the bamboo fun medium. A little more expensive, about 200 bucks. But it's a larger tablet, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Again, it comes with a little larger pen with this, and, and again, with the eraser on the back. Still the same buttons up here. This one also comes with a mouse. Cool. And what's neat about the mouse is you use the mouse. The mouse has no uh, batteries or anything. Mm -hmm. The mouse, uh, you use the mouse on this same tablet. Very so cool. this, like this, when you're not using your pen, that's right, it becomes your mouse pad. Hmm. Now, the mouse only works on the tablet. Okay. You can't use it here. Well, because there's no battery. There's no battery. It uses mm -hmm. a, a, a inductive thing between the two of them. 
So if you want to, but it, this makes a really nice little mouse pad. It does. Yeah. So when you don't want to use the pen, and, and then you know you, nobody's going to take off with it. <laughs> yeah, and it's very easy to switch over. You put that down, and you pick this up, and it comes with a little stand when you're not using it. So photo editing, pe people that do photography and things that yeah, even know, even like graphic uh, design and yeah, but I think at this price, it's sort of two hundred and less. Mm -hmm. Even people that do fairly casual photo retouching a lot, it's, right. it's so much easier. If you're trying to do like red eye removal and you have to like select an area, right. it's just so much easier to go on here and select it than it is doing it with your mouse. So, so if you want to trace around something, it's so much easier. I can imagine as an average consumer, it might take me, you know, a day or two to get used to it, yeah. but then probably it would become a staple. And a lot of people yeah. actually like surfing with these, you know, mm -hmm. because again, you can sit back. Yeah. Unlike a mouse where you have to be on the table at the time, mm -hmm. you can sit back in your chair while you're looking at this and you can surf up and down. You can yeah, click on Yeah, that's, that's, that's a great idea. It is. It's, it's nice. I tried that the other day. I was sitting back in my chair and, and it's a much more relaxed way of surfing. I need a recline office chair. That would be nice. You know what? I, I need don't to look at that. tilt back? I guess they don't. <laughs> yeah, tilt back on your head. <laughs> so, so um, good. really cool Perfect. new products. Price-wise even, I mean, you, you, uh, you've got a well, wireless... Uh, well, that this is wireless, but this does plug into your this, computer. This right. part, yeah, right. the tablet plugs in. Right. And so that is not wireless. In fact, that would be good. Now, I, you know, if, if this one was wireless, that would be awesome. Could you imagine? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe they need to come out with a wireless well, version of this. Well, maybe do Wait some on. sort of a battery in here, like a solar, even if it's whatever. Solar? I don't know. Yeah, solar. I mean, everyone's into solar these days, except the panels well, would probably be too big I mean. for... You know. Yeah, but natural lighting, solar, doesn't natural lighting, I mean, mm, Natural not really. lighting solar does not generate much power. You okay. really need to well, get outdoors for solar. Yes, wireless would be great. But even a battery, you know, a couple of double or triple A's in the back there. Just, and yeah, uh, It's going to change the design, though. They'd have to be the little flat round ones. There has to be like a little hump right. or something in the back. So, so are we in the Bamboo Design Center now? That's right. So I like these. Uh, my only issue with them is, is that wire, uh, and uh, but I think it's a good price point for... Mm -hmm. And it's good that they have these different sizes. So I give these four out of five. I would just like to see them wireless because you're right, that USB wire is a bit of a pain. Wireless, and I, yes, I understand the difference between text recognition from, you know, one product to another. But yeah. it'd be nice just to have one, you know, if you could get somehow do away with the keyboard and have one item. Right. And, I don't, and, it and even come your with one item mouse. recognition software. So. so that would be good if it had something like yeah. that. Yeah, just a couple of ideas. But four out of five for me, I, I can't see. Um, you know, maybe if I used it for a couple of days and then became codependent, it, that might work. But um, connect the a combination of being connected, you know, to a wire. Right. And I'm kind of thinking, how would I see the screen very well if I'm I'm on a laptop and I'm, you know, kind of back here. But um, definitely, really nice design. Yeah. I, I like it. And um, I think it's a good product. So that's four out of five for Tiff. Four out of five for me. That's eight out of ten for the new Wacom Bamboo series. Of uh, tablets, a nice alternative to the mouse, especially if you're doing photo editing or something like that. Exactly. And uh, we'll be right back after these words, so stay tuned. I don't really know what you just said, but I don't know what you said. I sent the presentation on the spreadsheet for next week's presentation. IPods, including the new iPod Classic, which tops out at 160 megabytes, and the new iPod Touch, which is just like this. Hi there. I'm Ben Friedman from Neophyte.tv, and for the best sound for your podcasts or office communications, check out the microphones at RevoLabs.com. And we are back uh, with our second spotlight today. We're looking at this very cool watch, and this is this is uh, a a watch from a company called Brando. They're a company that they basically only sell things. I think they're out of like Hong Kong mm -hmm. and they sell really funky USB things. Like they sell the USB uh, flash drives shaped like sushi. Oh, Have how funny. Uh -uh. Like little Maki rolls and little California roll flash drive. <laughs> Cute. Strange. It's creative. No, yeah. I like it. So if you ever like Dick Tracy, you know, when da, you're a da, kid or da, anything da, like that. Inspector Gadget. Inspector Gadget, da, yeah. Da, da, this is a definite Inspector Gadget watch. So this is the MP4 watch from Brando. And as you can see, Here's it's like some sort of display. spy thing, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, with the clock on it like that. Okay. Okay, so you can see that. But that's not the really cool part about this watch. So I'm going to go in here and change the mode. And there's a plethora of buttons. Can you it. record people on that? A uh, little it, record button? I think it does have a sound recorder on it, I yes. mean, that's cool, because then you could really get yeah, a let me good conversation. Uh, yeah, voice recorder. It has oh, a voice recorder. You can that record is people cool. on here. Now, so first, let's go in. Let's see, maybe we'll try that out, see, if that oh. works, see how that well works. I'm going to first go into the movie mode here, and I think I have here, like, an episode of The Office on here. So here we go. Take a look at this. Oh, 
how neat. It's a what? It's a little like a skippy. The it is, is yeah. Amazing. Well, and, and here it is. It's not full frames. It's like 15 frames per second. Okay. I don't know if we're going to be able to actually see that. It's so small. I mean. Let me see. Cool. What do you think? I like it. Now it does have a little speaker. You plug headphones in, of course. Uh, of course. But it has a little of headphones. Course. Listen, you listen. This is an episode of The Office here, uh, on there, and it's squished down a bit because this was in 16 by 9 and it's squished down to 4 mm -hmm. by 3. So but everybody looks really tall and skinny. Everyone looks tall and skinny. Um, but uh, this was all done with a little software. You have to use their software for converting the stuff, so I couldn't figure out how to convert it any other way. It's a very specific format, but it does come with the converter software. So you can take pretty much any video file, drag it MP3, to the converter MP4, software. MP3, MP4, Yeah, MOV, AVI, and what have you. It's a bit bulky, huh? So, well, I mean, yeah. I kind of probably want to wear this with a longer sleeve. <laughs> At least for me, anyway. <laughs> now, Especially listen, that's, that's not all it somebody. does. Uh, it's not all it does. Look, let me uh, back out of here. But wait, there's more. There is more, if I can just figure out how to... Uh, here it goes. So if I go down here to mode, and I'm going to go down oh, here to it. the music mode. Uh, oh, you have FM radio? Yeah, FM radio built in as well. So here's... Um, Oh. A little screen with a little equalizer. Yeah. Oh, we're back into clock mode. Hold on. There we go. This is MP3 mode. So now it does. This has and this one has two gigabytes of RAM. So you're gonna get a bunch of songs. You know, if your songs, I think you can get several hundred songs on there. I mean, it's, you know, it doesn't have any kind of external storage. Right. There's no SD card or anything. Uh -huh. uh, but that sounds. You know, the speaker's no good for that. Um, but that's pretty cool. Now, is this voice recorder? Let's see if we can figure out how to make that work. Uh, let's go back here to the mode, and we'll go down to voice recorder and click here. And voice recorder, and I'm going to click this. All right, let's see. I think it may be recording. Uh, right. record, yeah, no, the buttons are right there, so it's definitely recording. It's definitely recording. So yeah. check one, two, three, four, five. Oh, look it, and it kind of, kind of flips back, back to, your, to the watch, to the watch yeah. thing, so people don't the know they're being recorded. That's right. This is clandestine recording, I this believe. It's a very good spy watch. Okay, let me see if I, and I'll, I'll play this back. You'd be like, oh, uh, no, I wasn't recording. I was watching a movie. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so now it's saving, and now can I go back and play that? Uh, I have uh, very little clue on how to play that back. Well, That's voice two. Hold on. Now maybe I have to go back to the music mode. Oh, right. Uh, or, let's go back to music. Oh, look, there it is. Voice is. one. Let's yeah, uh, go up there and click play. All right. Let's see. I think it may be recording. Uh, so, yeah. No, the buttons are right there. So it's definitely recording. It's definitely recording. So yeah. check one, two, three, four, five. Wow. Oh, look it, and it kind of, kind of it goes back, back here, to the watch. To the watch yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, it's, not, it's not thing. fantastic That's quality, right. but this is clandestine um, recording, I believe. Yeah. You know, yeah. talk about clandestine. Let's say you're right. I mean, I'm serious. Yeah. Yeah. And it's an FM radio too, and it does a, you know, what have you, but, yeah. and by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, it's, it's 90 bucks. Wow. Yeah. Not terribly expensive. So there, there it is. Looks a little, little clunky, right? Uh, right. That upside down. Um, you know, I, what do you think? I mean, it's a novelty. I know, no, I, I think it's actually really cool. I mean, you could use that for a lot of different things. Yeah. Now, right. let me show you how you hook it up to your computer. Okay? okay. So here on the armband, and I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the screen, it, there's an integrated oh, USB cable. Look this at plugs that. in like this, and then this plugs in to your computer by USB. That's easy. Isn't that great? Yeah. I like that. Now, it's plastic. I don't know how, it's not going to take a lot of abuse. It's certainly not waterproof. Looks like it could be. <laughs> It's got that design it's got on that it. that rubber uh, yeah, thing. Yeah, the rubber thing. It's, got, it's full of holes. There's, there's no waterproof. But look, it records, you know, if you need that to record cool. an audio file, if you're going into some meeting or something, I think that's, a, oh, yeah. that's pretty cool. Also, you know, anytime you're on a you know, speakerphone voice and you need to record something in a hurry. Yeah. I'll play that audio file back. You know, we'll, uh, we'll uh, play it back on yeah. the show, too. So that is the Brando MP4 watch, $92 from their website. Um, and that has a lot of features for I, $92. It does. You know, it plays music, plays video. You have to convert the video, but it comes with that application. That's PC only. It doesn't work on the Mac. Okay. And uh, it also has an FM radio. And um, it's pretty neat. I think it needs charging pretty much every day. Okay. So, you know, it's not going to last week. It's not like a watch that you put it on and six months later it's still got charging. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's more like an iPod that way that you have to charge it up mm -hmm. after you're using it. Neato. I don't know. I, I got to give it a five out of five just for everything it does for 90 bucks. I, uh, you know, it's not, it's, it's definitely not 
high quality, but it is very functional. Exactly. I, I, you know, I can't think of, you know, if it was like 200, I might knock a few things off, but five out of five for me too. I, it's, it's actually Isn't that cool? so many features You're in stunned, one. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised. I am surprised. Five out of five for Tiffany, five out of five for me. That is 10 out of 10 for the Brando MP4 watch, two gigabyte model here uh, for MP3s. Video? MP4 videos. Spying. Spying. It has an FM radio built in, so mm -hmm. you can listen to the radio, you know, run the headphone jack up your sleeve if you need to. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably a pretty neat uh, device, much cheaper than an iPod. It is. Not as much storage as an iPod. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, two gigs, not bad. That's all the time we have for today, but if you have uh, an extra minute, visit our website, wwwneo tv, and leave us a comment. We love those comments. We do love them. And if you happen to have an extra 30 seconds, take a look at this. Hey, I'm Andy Walker. Have you just bought a new computer with Windows Vista on it? Or maybe you've got an old XP computer that you upgraded. Well, we've just created an amazing new DVD. It'll teach you everything you need to know about the new operating system from Microsoft. It's called Getting Started with Windows Vista. In this DVD, there are three sections. One is out of the box. What do you need to do as soon as you start up Vista? Number two is Vista Essentials, things you need to know every day to make your computer experience amazing. Antivirus, security, all kinds of new features that Vista offers. And finally, geek tips and tricks, things you need to know that nobody else will have told you to make you a Vista guru. For more information, check out our website at gettingstartedvideo.com.